This plugin is perfect when it comes to creating Emma Piano melodies. What's up guys, and welcome back to yet another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an emotional Emma Piano beat in Apple Studio. If you're interested in the sounds which I'm gonna use in this tutorial, make sure to check out the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit. The link is in the description. There is also a preview of this pack, which you can download for free. So definitely go and check it out. So let's get started with the tutorial. So first I'm gonna adjust the BPM to 130. So first I'm gonna start off with some drums. So I'm gonna use my new drum kit. And first I'm just gonna draw in a shaker loop. So as you can see, I've included a lot of shaker loops in the sample pack. So let's use this one. Just gonna create a four bar loop. And then first I'm gonna start off with a kick. So let's use this one, which contains some high frequencies, but still it's really deep, this one. And now for this beat, I want to go for some rims. So let's use this one, and this one. Of course, this simple four by four rhythm. Then let's start off with the first rim. And then the rim is still too attacky. So open up the envelope like this, then enable the envelope. And then we're gonna adjust the attack a little bit. So we add around four or 5% attack. And this removes the first ticking sound of the sample. And then I'm just gonna draw in the next one in the empty spots right here, like this. And then apply the exact same trick to this one. Sounds really cool right now. So as you can see, it's so simple to make small adjustments or tweaks to your samples. All right, now let's add some percussions. So let's add a conga. So let's start off with the first one, the simple one. So that's it, keep it very simple. Let's add this one. And then I want a conga like this to play at the end of the bar. So right there. Maybe pitch it down half an octave to F. Definitely adjust the volume. So I think right now we're good to go. So right now let's start adding some melody elements. So first I'm gonna start off with the Labs plugin from Spitfire, which is completely free. And then we're gonna open up the piano. So I found this preset, which sounds really cool. Glass piano anthem, this one. So I definitely want to create an emotional beat and a scale which is perfect for all emotional chord progressions is A minor. So we're starting off with this chord which is an inversion. Now we're adding the root note F and then let's create something which moves upwards. So, so we have G, we have A, and then let's say C. So this C is not a scale, so let's move it down. Then just move this one up. That sounds perfect. So let's strumize it by pressing option S. So just a tiny bit and then randomize it. So make sure you select bipolar. Adding some cinematic sounds to the beat. I think it sounds really cool. So right now let's add some swing to this one. 20% depends on what you prefer. And right now we want to add some low frequencies to the beat. So I'm gonna use the Fruity DX10 and I'm gonna use a sub or bass, which is used in a lot of Ember Piano beats. So open up the presets and then I'm selecting the E flute, this one, which is a simple sine wave. And then we're just gonna follow the root notes from our chord progression. And then lower it down one octave. For now we're gonna add the next element and for this beat I'm gonna use the JIP 8 V4 which is an awesome analog synthesizer. And so I'm gonna use this electronic dreams preset, this one. And normally I would use the machine preset but just let's switch it up for once, this one. So switch this note to A. So playing around with the brightness. 
and then let's use another layer from the Jep VA. So I'm gonna use this pulse sound preset, this one. That sounds cool, so let's copy it like this. Maybe the C isn't right. Maybe there is just too much delay, so let's adjust this one. So let's go to effects, and then we adjust the dry wet signal. So let's just duplicate it again. And I think I want to add a saw or something like that. So I found these lo-fi strings. Maybe just go along with the, with the root notes. So we definitely added three layers, which could be so interesting when creating the arrangement. There is just not too much going on and this make it definitely easier to create a full arrangement when it comes to this MVP and the beat. And then just listen to them together. And if just too much is going on, just simplify some of the layers. So I'm gonna use a focus sample from Arcade. So I'm gonna use a During Spirit Sampler. So first let's adjust the key to A minor. So I like this one. Let's reduce the volume a little bit. So I'm already linking this one to the mixer and then just add a random reverb. I'm going to use this one. Just keep it so simple. And right now let's move on adding some more drums. So let's add some more congas. So. I want to add some drums which contain some more high frequencies, so let's use this one. So right now let's add the next element, so let's use this one. And let's use this weird one. So making it more interesting step by step. So maybe let's add another percussion. I've never added the Udo to an MP piano track. So those are some weird sounding percussions. So I think this one sounds cool. So let's drag it in. So right now I think we've added a lot of percussions like toms, which contain low frequencies. So right now, Let's fill up the high frequencies. So we're gonna open up wood. So those are some wooden percussions. So let's use this one, which is a pretty simple one. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more advanced. So we're gonna select one third step, which is another rhythm, which we've added. So right now it sounds offbeat, but that's the whole point. So lower down the velocity of the second percussion like this. And let's add one right here turn up the velocity even more, and then we're gonna randomize this one again. So making it just a little bit more humanic. Press accept. Still a simple layer, but definitely adds more groove to the whole drum loop. So right now we're gonna add some more high frequencies, tambourine, triangle. So let's pick a triangle. Let's pick this one. So right now we've added more than enough percussions and drums, melody layers. Right now it's time for the lock drum. So of course I'm gonna use the Fruity DX10 and I'm gonna use some of my lock drum presets. So I've added some presets, but I've also sampled those presets. So if you're using Logic or Ableton, you're also able to create MP piano tracks in those DAWs using sounds from the Fruity DX10. But in this case, let's open up a preset. So I'm gonna use preset 12 this one, and we've already added the E flute, so make sure those go perfect together. And the simplest way how to do this is just by using almost the same progression as the bass, so. And then we're gonna create a roll right here, like this. Then 
I'm going to create ex something exactly the same. So the log drum for this beat isn't that complicated, but I think a great addition to the whole groove. And then of course, we're gonna select this pattern and then select split by channel and then drag in all the elements individually like this. So right now I'm gonna arrange this beat and show you the final result in a second. So guys, I've just finished up this beat. I've had a lot of reverb to make it sound really spacious. And I think overall, this is just a really great and solid beat. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the final result. Let's have a listen. So for us, just a piano and the vocals. Bassline coming in and it's a typical I'm a piano FX. Just keep it simple. Leave some room for the artist. Now we're balling up. Log drum coming in, the pulse lead. loops so I'm coming in again keeping it interesting So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave the thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the sounds which I've used in this tutorial, make sure to check out the Ama Piano Paradise drum kit. The link is in the description. And with all this being said, I hope this video inspired you and see you in one of my next tutorials.